Hey there, Cursings. Curse Lord Nick here, and we're resuming gameplay of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, we just wrapped up the Battle of the Bands, and now uh, Zygaxis is here, and he has a, a job for us, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Alright, here's the deal. I need a new body, and helping me out is really the least you could do to make amends. It was going pretty well until they tried to kill me. Yeah, that'll happen around here. Now the first thing we have to do is find the shape or grimoire so you can recite my true name. Meet me in Brattle. And he teleports away in a demonically magical poop. Wait, Ziggy Wits. He's already gone, boo. Why doesn't he just tell us his true name? Uh, cause that's not how demons work. Brett, back me up, girl. That is indeed not how demons work. See? Told you, dummy. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and start unloading our goods. Okay, still nothing stronger, so we're going to sail it all. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and jump to the bottom to see if there's anything I can uh, open. Banner and that, okay. All right, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's go to the rings. Uh, duration 1.8. I mean, that's better duration, but I mean, I have both the cooldown rate and that, so kind of hard to give that one up. Okay, anything higher? Ooh, 757. We're going with that. So sell, 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 sell. And okay, now for our necklace. Um, this one is fire damage and support war. Oh, well, that's kind of good because. That in, it increases with uh, the hammer, so that one's frost. So we'll just go ahead and sell those two. Okay, we did the necklace. Let's do the armor. Okay, this gives us up to 11 ward and gun damage. Okay, let's do that. And then let's check Berserker, Berserker, Lawbringer, Berserker, Berserker, Lawbringer, Lawbringer. Lawbringer, Berserker, Spore, don't need it, don't need it, sell those, it's kind of hard when you can't see what, <laughs> the, you know, having a picture does help a little bit, still none of these are any better than what we have, so let's go ahead and get rid of all these, okay, oh, and, and now we got these guns, okay, so, a new handgun, uh, you know, let's go ahead and put that one on. Oh yeah, I want to try it out later, but let's see. You know, instead of that, I think I'm going to put a shotgun on. Or you know what, let's, let's do the rocket launcher. Let's try it. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, gonna hang on to that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. TNT increases damage. Oh well. Ah. Okay. Hang on. What was this gun? It says 81 damage. Critical hits ricochet one crossbow at the nearest enemy. Huh. I see. If I'm here, then that means... Wait, what does that mean? I think we'll just sell all that for now. Okay. Um. Go to Bright Hoof. Yeah, let's go to our map. And oh yeah, let's go to the world map. Let's go to Bright Hoof. And then let's teleport here. And let's go find the little demon dude <laughs> and see what he wants. I feel my I can taste your presence. It is 
salty somehow with notes of carpet and musk. Come to me. We have work to do. <laughs> Alright. He's over this way. I was just double checking because it said like, oh, your um, amulets have unlocked. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I thought so. Oops. Didn't mean to jump down there. Uh, I was gonna say, oh, look, fake. I was like, twins. <laughs> He's just chilling over here. You're the one who killed my host, so you're gonna help me find a new one. Now here's the deal. There's a coven which meets in the catacombs beneath the city. To call them witches would be uh, generous. They are mostly bored house husbands and housewives with too much time on their hands. Basically, they're always trying and failing to summon demons. But they have somehow managed to acquire the Shadeborn Grimoire. You will need to get it back. Huh. How shall we proceed? As you may have noticed, there's a big piss-off gate in the way. Go get it open. Alright, let's see. channel my powers through a host namely you but you're a little too goody goody for that right now i couldn't possess you even if i wanted to which i don't good people are so icky inside how about we rub a little shine off that soul of yours huh go do some bad stuff why not stop by scamming some town folk rubes out of the money that'll be fun Ooh, that sounds kind of icky. What if we did something slightly less evil, like, um, cutting in line? Zygaxis ponders your real dumb suggestion. Ah, uh, fine. I suppose that's evil adjacent. Just so I'm clear, we're doing bad stuff at the behest of a demon? This feels out of character for us. Come on, Brett, live a little. Y'all want that sweet reward, don't you? Then play. Fine, but I'm not changing my character's alignment over this. We'll call it a mulligan. What the hell is a mulligan? Yeah, is that some sort of spell I haven't heard of or something? No, it's... never mind. I see. If I'm here, then that means... Wait, what does that mean? I'm afraid I can't come to the door because I despise human interaction. Hey, I get it. <laughs> But would you be willing to donate to charity? Oh, this is already unbearable. I can feel my skull crawling just hearing you talk. If I give you money, will you go away? Yeah, I can do that. Here, now, please go away and stop talking to me. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, I guess we're, let's go with the con people out of money. Seeking donations to Habitat for Insanity. They're building affordable non Euclidean housing for Eldritch Gods getting back on their feet. Hmm. All right. You're lucky I'm also exceedingly wealthy with a kind and generous heart. Here you go. All right. And let's get one more. I wonder if we can do the cut in line one too. <laughs> May as well go for it, right? I'm just here collecting donations. Donations? Donations? Oh, I hate charity. It's all a scam. I'll show you what I do to scummy donation takers. Keep at it! Next! 
next. I want you to paint my demonic sigil around the town to increase my power. And deal with any guards that try to stop you. Or, or, and hear me out, what if we played a prank on someone, huh? How about that? Uh, you do you, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how we do the prank. Okay. All right, we're gonna go with the prank one this time. All right, let's switch here. All right, which one's a prank? Deface building, deface building. All right, so the prank one's right there. <laughs> wait, wait, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, sure it wasn't. <laughs> Whatever you say, Party Ferdinand. Party <laughs> Ferdinand, that's good. That's his name now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you all. Party Ferdinand. Party Ferdinand. Party Ferdinand. Party Ferdinand. Ferdinand suffered from IBS, and he'd always been real self-conscious about it. And knowing he could never escape the shame of his new numb to prank, he packed up a bindle and he left Bright Hill forever, hoping to start a new life somewhere else. But instead, he got eaten by goblins or something. Great. Now I feel bad. Finally, I want you to find these annoying lovers who are always spouting and infuriating pet names at each other. And kill them! Okay, that's one idea. But what if we were to instead, say, ignore a keep off the grass sign? Huh? Huh? Are you kidding? Whatever, man. <laughs> Alright, it's kind of funny because it seems like they bo they can go bad regardless of w what you do, you know? <laughs> Alright, we gotta get across. So let's, let's head over here. Let's see if I can jump. Yeah, alright. I have a feeling we're gonna do the keep off the grass one and then end up, uh... It's gonna go bad. We're gonna get a fight. Oi! You're supposed to keep off the grass! Piss off! I love grass! Oh, alright. All I needed was for one person to respect my authority today. But I can't even protect a patch of grass. I'm not cut out for this. <sighs> I'm not cut out for this. I guess you technically did something bad, even if it was not very bad at all. The man still counts. But that guard went home to rethink his life. He left the city guard, and eventually he died due to a fatal accident involving swords and juggling. Because he, he decided to, to be a juggler of, of swords. Oh, poor guy. Oh, well, I must say, I'm disappointed in you. But I'd say you've done enough evil adjacent things to host my demonic personage. Come back to me so we can get this gate open. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. Open your heart, soul to the darkness. Dikath, ma nagitomia. This part is How do I know this isn't a trap? <laughs> Cozy. Oh, I do not like this feeling at all. Oh, get over it. Now then, approach the gate. Here we are. We'll go on. Must have set up some kind of secret passageway. <laughs> Only idiots think secret passageways are cool. Now 
Nice, level 20. Them. Figuring out how to open them is always fun. Oh, my mistake. I didn't realize that you too are an idiot. Secret passages tend to have secret switches. It must be hidden nearby. All right, let's see. Find a hidden switch. Oh, yeah, let's go do our points real quick. Uh, let's see. Put the. I'm gonna go back to tornadoes. And can we do this one yet? Ah, oh, okay. And then let's see. Where were we gonna put? I need uh, four more points there. Three, one, one. Oh, let's see. Um, on the fate maker. Was it four points? Oh yeah, so I think it was this one, right? Okay, one right there. And two points there. There we go. All right. All right. Wait, where is... Okay, find the hidden switch. Just looking around real quick. If I were a switch, where would I be? <laughs> I don't think it would be like all the way over here. It's got to be like where the, um, what do you call it, where this is? Is it on the side? Okay. There's something we gotta shoot. Like no hints, guys. Nothing. Okay. Like, can I go in there? <laughs> can I go in That's there? This is a bloody detailed map. Now that I look at it, how the hells did they chart all this? Okay. Is it one of, I would say, is it in the wall? <laughs> I might just like run away. Oh my god, I can't find it. Now then, what's the most broken build I can make? <laughs> Alright, this one is weird. Like, <laughs> I'm not exactly 100% sure why I can't uh, <laughs> find this thing. Okay. 
It was wow. So blind. Couldn't even see it. It was right there the whole time. The hint I kinda got was I looked at the map and it showed something to the like it showed the diamond on the right. <laughs> so I was like that kinda is what um helped me figure that out. <laughs> Yeah, cause you always want your you always want people to uh, what do you call it um, you know not get stuck because getting stuck is not fun. Okay, I think we're supposed to go that way, but let's go check this out real quick. Take that. Uh, eh, we'll take that just to sell. Go up the ladder here because I saw that D20. Okay. Alright, let's continue on. Yeah, we came down that way. Okay. I heard like two forces fighting here, like he summoned the skeletons and then I gotta fight the cult. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, there's a lot at work here. This guy. Oh boy. You're seriously gonna leave me and waste my time. Open a window. The high priest has dropped the grim wall. We should drop other. Oh, yes. Now speak my true name from within the book. It's on page six and seven. Uh, so close to the best page in the book. <laughs> I name thee Exaphocroc. That's me, baby. Uh, I feel my power returning. Now, interview these sad bastards in the cages and see if any of them might be a suitable host for my most unholy self. Oh, okay. Let's see. For first, let's. Let's loop. Okay. Oh, these must be the people that were talking. I thought they were going to sacrifice me. Are you here to set me free? Perhaps. But first, repeat after me. Exapograk, Nestat, Interidem, Monoka. Okay, sure. Exapograk, Nestat, Interidem, Monoka. Perfection. Now just wait. Wouldn't you know it? There's 
lady's already possessed. Chick Satan, is that you? Psychaxis, I thought I smelled your roadkill and roses scent on this one. Oh man, I'm sorry. I almost tried to possess your host. Anyway, buddy, it's been too long. We should really catch up soon. Indeed. I'll meet you in the dark summer of wraiths on the next Harvest Moon, bro. Sounds good! <laughs> Alright, so not that one, obviously. Where are you galloping off, Toot? You saved us! Listen, I'm big. And those crazy carbon wannabes were gonna sacrifice me and the other folks in here. We owe you everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now repeat after me. Example Brock, Nestat, Interridum, Madoka. Oh, okay. Zebra don't dish taste, Interran, Monaco. He's worthless. Dude, <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Okay, one more. Hey, are you gonna free me or whatever? That depends. Recite after me. Exabra, Nestat, Interrogate, Monoka. Sure. Exafelgrof, Nestad. Hey, wait a minute. Are you trying to get me possessed or something? <laughs> You've discovered our ruse. Actually, that sounds pretty boss. I'm into it. Exafelgrof, Nestad, Interidum, Monocar. Now, Vaxen, are you prepared to host my essence? Totally, my dude. Fill me up. I can't wait to see what kind of stuff we can do together. <laughs> That's a good boy. Farewell, adventurer. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Eventually. I have mixed feelings about everything I've just done. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right, we're out. Okay, and then let's see if any new, uh, new stuff has popped up. Nope. Actually, uh, let's go to the overworld. Let's see. Um. I want to kind of zoom in again real quick on here. I don't see any any missions. Okay, and then oop. yeah, let's go to the Weep Wild Dankness. I think we've yep completed all those. Go back. Uh, Bright Hoop. There's nothing. Okay. Uh, we check Mount Craw. Oh, have we checked uh, Shadow Grave Barrow? Okay, nothing there. Okay, I guess we'll just continue on to um, the main mission. So let's let's head over there. I think we can get there this way. All right. Probably need to get rid of some loot, but we're all right. I don't think we are like super full. Okay. <laughs> we have to go read the prophecy. Actually, we'll get over there and then I'll, uh, we can save and start a new video so that way we start fresh. Okay. So 
run this way. We'll use the plank. Walk the plank. Alright, grab that. Nashda. Okay. Alright. And then. Okay, we're good. So let's go ahead and, uh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll we'll save right here. So as always, uh, you know, just say thank you so much for watching. You guys know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.